we go. Um, I'm at my command line, and I'm going to activate YAST. Y A S T two is the is the, the the second iteration. What is YAST? YAST is, as I said in the installation of this, YAST is a sort of like a, a package and operational system control software manager. It's it's the overall dude, for lack of a better term, that does the does the, the background work for installing and configuring your, your machine. So I'm going to tell it that I would like it to install software, that's the minus I key, or minus I parameter. Some versions of uh, Linux require minus install, the full word. Um, I'm just going to use minus I here. And what do I want to install? Well, I want to install the GCC package. What is that? That is the GNOME because I'm using a GNOME desktop C compiler. And I would like to also install the uh, GCC uh, hyphen C where's my plus sign? plus plus package what is that that is the gnome C plus plus compiler package I would like to install the make package as well and I would like to install the kernel 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 hyphen source packages so yes two space minus I space GCC space GCC hyphen C++ space make space kernel hyphen source. And so I'm going to tell it, please go forth and uh, do, where's my keyboard? There we go. Please go forth and do the install. And what it's doing right now is you can see the graphical dialog has, has fired up. And this is just a nice little dialog that's going to talk to me and let me know what it's doing. And um, basically it's going to do what all installations do, what we're all used to. It's going to sit here and do some status updates and we're going to see some status bars running and back and forth and occasionally I may or may not get um, little dialog boxes asking me to uh, say okay to EULAs and user uh, software license agreements. If those come up I'll say yes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the pause button on this recording because it's kind of boring for you to have to sit here and watch the little status bar go by and I'll come back and start again as soon as we get this taken care of. Okay, it's been about, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, and the installation of these packages has been completed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this now, uh, get the focus in here, and uh, now what I need to do is I need to update some additional uh, stuff, so rather than just installing those, I'm going to update some things. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it graphically now, just to show you the different ways we can do this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to YAST. And once YAST comes up, I'm going to come over here to Software, and I'm going to choose uh, Software Management. <coughs> and again, it's starting the Software Manager. However, this time now I get to interact with it. Um, so uh, I need this. It's kind of tight to get everything to fit properly within the constraints of this video. So there, that looks about good. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to Upgrades upgrades and I want to look for kernel upgrades. So here's kernel stuff and what I need to do is I need to update uh, basically all of this stuff here and look at this. Isn't this cool? A nice kernel module built in for for VirtualBox as well which is totally cool. So I'm gonna, going to um, go ahead and uh, upgrade that. Well, my entire video recording screen just whacked, so hang on just a second. There we go. Sorry about that. So in here, I'm going to choose this, and I'm gonna, going to choose to upgrade this. And that grabs all of these, including the VirtualBox stuff, which is cool. Um, I don't know what UDEV is. Rule-based node, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any idea what this is, so I'm not going to match with this at this point and I'm not going to match with with this either. I'm just going to go ahead and apply these additional changes that I want. So I hit apply. And uh, once again, the install configuration manager is going to start up and do its thing. And so while it's doing its thing, again, I'm going to go ahead and put you all on pause. Okay, um, we're back and uh, the pause is now over. 
it's finished uh, updating this, this stuff and you'll notice we have a uh, reboot your system to activate the new kernel prompt and I'm just gonna go ahead and say okay and then close this and um, pretty simple just gonna come down here and tell it uh, computer shut down and I want it to restart so it's gonna go ahead and restart reboot the machine to bring up the new kernel and um, we'll see if everything's okay so I'm gonna pause it again while we're waiting for the reboot simply so that you don't have to watch all this fun stuff go by